In this video, I show you how to xdebug your PHP unit tests on PHP Storm. I find using xdebug very useful whenever I can tell why a test is failing. I have here a fresh Laravel 8 application and I already added an example class as well as an example test. I can execute the test manually in the container. So remember Laravel 8 comes with Docker Compose and uh, one service class is Laravel test, which is the PHP container. So the first step that I need to do is to start the containers of my testing application. And then I could manually execute in the service Laravel test my, um, uh, I could manually execute PHP unit. So um, vendor bin PHP unit. And as you can see, the test is failing. This is a great starting point. But now uh, we need to actually be able to run the test inside PHP Storm in order to debug it here. So when I click on run test example, uh, there's no interpreter um, configured. So I need to, to configure that. And I would like to use uh, PHP unit just as I use this in the console. So it should be PHP unit from the Docker container. So I click on add interpreter from Docker and here it should be from Docker Compose and I just have to select the service, which is Laravel test in this case. So I click on OK. And then I click on Apply and run the test. And very good. Here we see the test has its issues. So let me run it again. It's a little bit too slow so and the reason for this is because if i go to the interpreter then the life cycle says always start a new container so it always runs a new container but i think it's enough to connect to an existing container let's try this out so yeah this is quicker okay so now I would like to find out why is this test failing? So I go to the uh, relevant line and I see that user name is assigned to a variable. And the problem is that the name key is undefined. So, okay, maybe I just die and dump the user array and rerun the test with shift as an F10. And as I can see, the user array has the key name. So this is, in direct conflict with the error message with that undefined error key name. I have no clue what's going on here. So this is a typical situation where I would like to use xdebug to understand what is happening here. So now I would like to debug this test. I open up the uh, debugging with xdebug documentation in the Laravel cell documentation. And it states that you have to add this to your container. And then you just need to restart the container. So I'm currently stopping it. And now I start it again. Okay, and actually, if you read the documentation, it says you need to uh, apply the host Docker internal manually in Linux. I'm not sure why it's in here because uh, if you go to the Docker Compose, you see that this is already handled here. And in fact, I'm using Ubuntu and this works for me like this. I don't need to follow these steps. So just adding this line to the environment and reset the container and that's it. Now you should be able to debug the test. So let me say, say my breaking point here. Let's debug the test. I end up here and I see user variable has key name, value max. This is very good. Go to the method append name. It works very good. Now I get the new user. And here I can see the key has a spelling. So this is the reason why the test fails. Okay, that's a big problem. So um, 
we need to check where do our user come from this method and yes here i have a spelling so i just click shift f10 to restart the test and now it's working great thanks to xdebug i could solve this issue very quickly i hope this video helped you and yes thanks for watching